Today we're talking about the Titanic. And when people think about the Titanic, unfortunately, they think about it sinking. And most people blame the iceberg for sinking the Titanic. The iceberg was just out there being an iceberg. What really sank the Titanic were design flaws. And today we're going to discuss the five design flaws that sank the Titanic. The first design flaw that sank the Titanic was a lack of protocol. They knew they were in water with icebergs and didn't really have a protocol for that. They were going too fast, first of all. They were looking for an iceberg, but by the time they saw it, this happened at night, by the time they saw it, it was coming up on them very quickly and they didn't have a plan. They just, in the moment, quickly decided to turn port, to turn left. There was no protocol. There was nothing that said, turn right, turn left, hit it straight on, reverse engines. There was just no plan. They were out there flailing on their own. When it comes to the safety of the passengers, the crew, and the boat itself, you don't wanna be firing from the hip. You want a plan. They knew icebergs were going to be out there. What do you do when you see one? The second design flaw was the Titanic had open bulkheads. What makes a ship or any object float is that the object has to be lighter than the water that it disperses. So the whole of the ship is hollowed out to make it lighter. And what we do in a ship is we block it off with bulkheads. And these are walls. They're waterproof walls in the whole of the ship so that if water gets into one area, it can't breach that wall and go into another area. Let me demonstrate this with an ice cube tray. To demonstrate the problem with the Titanic's bulkheads, I'm using a an ice tray and floating it in water. And this represents the hull of the ship of the Titanic and that these are the bulkheads. Ideally, each bulkhead would be completely sealed with the ceiling so that if water got into one, it couldn't get into another, keeping the ship more afloat. But even with the lack of ceilings, the ship can still continue to float. If the ship takes on water in some of the bulkheads, it will still float as long as it doesn't breach the ceiling. If it does, it will keep going and slowly, slowly, it will sink. In the case of the Titanic, the situation was even worse. And this is because when they decided to make a sharp turn, the iceberg scraped along the side of the Titanic breaching several bulkheads at once. In the case of the Titanic, they didn't have a head-on collision. They decided to try to avoid the iceberg. And studies have now said that if they'd hit the, the iceberg straight on, they would have had a better chance of floating. Instead, they decided to turn sharply and they breached several of the bulkheads at once. This caused a much more catastrophic problem. And then it caused the ship to sink very quickly. During the time of the Titanic, having open bulkheads was very common on passenger ships because they were trying to save space. They wanted to have more space for the passengers. But it became one of the fatal flaws of the design of the Titanic when multiple bulkheads were breached at one time. So now here's the Titanic. They didn't have a protocol for when they saw an iceberg. They made a snap decision, which scraped a lot of the bulkheads. And the second flaw was that the bulkheads were open. They didn't have ceilings. Now they're sinking. So we come to design flaw number three, and that is isolation. The Titanic put out a distress signal and they said, hit an iceberg, SOS. So they said that they needed help. They were in isolation. There was nobody around. It took a long time for anybody to get to them. Today, the regulations are that when you have a passenger ship, it has to be within visual sight of another passenger ship. Passenger ships, cruise ships, they tend to travel at least in pairs. You've got to be able to see another ship in case a ship gets into trouble. This brings us to the fourth design flaw. They didn't follow their course plan. Everybody knew what day they left and everybody knew what day they were expected to arrive in New York. But the Titanic decided they were going to surprise everyone and get to New York sooner to show off this masterful new ship. For this reason, they were traveling faster and they were much ahead of where people expected them to be. It took a long time to find them. So here's where we are. We saw an iceberg, didn't know what to do, made a quick decision. Um, it breached a lot of the bulkheads that are open top, causing the, the ship to sink faster. We're not within visual distance of another ship and nobody knows where we are. What should save us at this point is the lifeboats. We should be able to get into the lifeboats and wait it out. 
A lifeboat is never going to get you to shore from where the Titanic went down, but it will save your life. This was the fifth design flaw. There were not enough lifeboats. There were not enough spaces for everybody on that ship to be in a lifeboat. And decisions started having to be made about who was going to get into a lifeboat and who wasn't. That should never happen. Today, not only do you have to have a spot for every passenger and every crew member, but you have to have extra spots. An iceberg did not sink the Titanic. The iceberg was just being an iceberg. People sank the Titanic and they did it with poor design. Not just one poor design decision, but decision after decision after decision. The Titanic was designed to be the ship of dreams. It was a beautiful ship and it was a beautiful ship and it was beautifully designed. But design goes beyond the looks of a ship. Beautiful design doesn't count unless you have safety design in the ship, you have good protocol design around the ship. There's more to design than just beauty. And fortunately, we learned a lot from the Titanic. It was a catastrophe that we were able to go to school on. And today's ships are much safer because of what we learned on the Titanic. We still make ships beautiful. There are beautiful ships, but we know that beauty is more than skin deep. I hope you enjoyed this discussion about the design flaws on the Titanic. I upload videos every week, always about design. I hope you'll subscribe and join me. See you next week. Thank you.